Welcome to our Africa Tech segment. Let's talk about females in the tech world. The ratio of men to women in the business in Africa is still quite disproportionate. Though Africa has recently seen rapid growth in internet access, women are vastly underrepresented in technology. Now, a closer look at the IT industry shows that female app developers and female tech entrepreneurs are generally a hard find. However, the few female app developers in the industry are clamoring for more women in the business. They believe women can bring a unique perspective to the fast-growing field. Well, one of them is Cassandra Nwokolo, the developer of Credo Count, an app that helps women monitor their pregnancy, ultimately contributing her quota to the reduction of maternal mortality rate in Africa. She joins me from Oklahoma, United States. Thank you so much for making our time to speak to us on Network Africa. Thank you. Well, you, you, you are one of the few female app developers in Africa. What is that like? It, it's good. I, I, I am in apps and produce apps that help people. So I think it's a, it's a good skill to have. So what would you say were the challenges you faced when you set out as an app developer and how were you able to overcome them? Well, I guess my challenges had to do with like knowing what apps to produce, what apps would be helpful for like the common man on the street, and how to make the app in a way such that it like solves the problem that it was meant to solve. And also, other problems were like uh, I had like technical problems, like being able to technically produce the app, and also time constraint, like. It takes some time to some time and patience to work on the apps, so that was also a challenge. But if once you have passion, everything else goes smoothly. So because of my passion for making apps for the regular person, I was able to invest more time and put in so much patience into it, and I was able to work and create the apps. Also, I had to attend several trainings for and different programs to better myself to be able to create them. Let's backtrack a little bit. At what point did you make up your mind that you wanted to enter this business and what inspired you? The, um, it, the IT world is it's a, an ever-changing world. It's, it always evolves and it's always good to, it, it's always going to be there. So it, it's something I wanted to be part of and something I wanted to change. So that was like my main push. I just wanted to be part of something that big and that was that was basically it. What year was this? That that was it, my uh, final year in um, um, call in uh, high school. Yes, yeah, that was like SS two, SS three. You started quite early, and that's quite interesting. You are a Nigerian, and you are aware of the deficit uh, we have in the tech industry in terms of the ratio of men to women. What do you think should be done to improve the number? Well, usually, like uh, women are usually less than uh, men in number, but I guess if we could like uh, encourage more women to do things like this, and also programs like this that help to inspire other women that could think about this to do it because it's it's I mean it's hard but it's some it's doable so I feel like if we put more awareness into it and promote things like this that more women will be interested in things like this right so you could have made, uh, created apps that will solve a lot of problems but you chose the type that will help pregnant women uh, uh, monitor their pregnancy and ultimately help reduce maternal mortality in Africa. Why did you choose that to create that kind of app? Well, it's, I mean, it's just one app. I don't plan to just have one app. I have, I plan to have other apps, but this was one of the problems I discussed with some doctors back home about like problems that we, I could help with IT wise to see what could be done to like uh, prevents like mortality in women and this was one of the options that came up so I was able to get this at first. We still have other ones working on but basically credit counts is just yeah as you said it's an app that helps to helps women like expectant mothers to calculate these um, estimated days of delivery for their their coming child so that was it was it's something that was needed back home so I just got interested in it and that was it. I wanted to do it. So how has the feedback been from users? 
What oh, kind? it's been it's been good. It's uh, excitement and surprise from people that know me and didn't expect this because <laughs> uh, it's 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 I think it's a good app and I've also gotten like uh, reviews from even people I don't know personally. So I think it's a it's it was it, I got so much good feedback and I'm so grateful for it. So finally, what advice will you give to ladies who would love to be an app developer like yourself? I would say just do it. Just do it. Get the training you need. Put in the work. Put in the patience. And just do it. And you would, you would make it. Yeah. Cassandra it's... Uokolo is a creator, a developer of uh, Creative Counts. Thank you so much for speaking to us on Network Africa. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Let's take you through stories making the rounds right here in Nigeria. Well, in Lagos, it's uh, in its bid to improve security in the state. The Lagos state government has commissioned various gadgets, which it hopes will add value to policing. Items commissioned include helicopters, patrol vehicles, power bikes, and other security gadgets. The state governor, Akim Miambode, is of the view that the commissioning underscores the seriousness of the Lagos state government in ensuring the security of lives and property. The overall policy trust of this administration is built on a tripod. Security, job opportunities, and improved infrastructure. With a safer Lagos, we will continue to attract bigger commerce, and more local and foreign investment. This will create more job opportunities for our people and generate more taxes for the government to improve on the infrastructure in various sectors. With our commitment to light up Lagos, we are sure we're on our way to creating a 24-7 economy. It is in our best interest. We're all aware of the recent trend in terror attacks all over the world. As one of the emerging global city-states, it has become compelling to re-energize the security infrastructure in meeting with the present-day realities. Today, we are raising the bar and repositioning the Lagos State Police Command to a standard comparable to similar outfits in other modern city-states. Our police command will have its operations significantly driven by the right technology and equipment that will match the emerging sophistication of crime in our contemporary time. All these have been acquired at a total cost of 4.765 billion. It is significant to stay here that over 50% of this amount came from the lottery revenues of the state assigned for good causes and public good. That's the Lagos State Governor, Akiwumi Ambadi. And that's it also on Network Africa. But before I let you go, I'd like to leave you with a question, and you can answer me over the weekend. The question is, Rwanda ranks sixth on the World Economic Forum's global gender gap list, ahead of France, Spain, Germany, Switzerland, Denmark, and even the United States. What are your thoughts? Send your answers to Network Africa at ChannelsTV.com. Find me on Twitter at Adeshewa Josh. Well, that's it from us here in the studio. I am Adeshewa Josh. Have a fantastic weekend. See you again next week.